A Christmas Day robbery is bad enough, but held at gunpoint and your child's wheelchair stolen? Roseanne Tejas has the original story of one family having a very tough time this holiday. We had a few bags with us. We came down this way. Peter Ramos says it was just after 9 p.m. Christmas Day. Uh, the vehicle was parked parked right here. He was loading his SUV outside his mother's garage in Hegwish when he spotted four men coming down the alley. When I look back, I seen my wife come out. And um, that's when they pulled the, the gun out on me and stuck it to my neck. At first, truthfully, I thought it was all a joke or something. For some reason, the gun just didn't look real to me. I don't know if I was kind of in shock. I just handed the keys over like this. But as the young men piled in the SUV and took off, the couple remembered the important cargo in the back. Me and my wife were, were yelling at them to at least, can we at least have my daughter's uh, wheelchair back? Today, that's what's missed the most. Nine-year-old Alexis has cerebral palsy and needs her wheelchair to get around. Day after Christmas, nothing's open, so I can't even, you know, I can only try to borrow a wheelchair. And without a car, the family's unable to head home to Whiting, Indiana. They're grateful that neither Alexis nor her six-month-old brother, Jaden, was in the car, but... Disappointing, actually. I see the young kids between 19 or 25 and just rampaging through this neighborhood. And it's the worst feeling, um, but I know we'll get through it. Their missing car is a 2005 dark blue Hyundai Santa Fe. It looks something like this one. Now, Ramos did find a wheelchair to use, but it is only a temporary fix. The chair that Alexis used was custom made to address her needs. And so, Erica, they're going to have to order a brand new one, and that could take some time. So they're hopeful tonight that maybe someone will spot that SUV. And tell them, turn that in, turn right. this in. It's so heartbreaking, though, because this child obviously needs such special care. Of all times, right, when the wheelchair was in right. the car, but they're thankful the children were not. Yes. Thank you, Roseanne.